80% of the current most advanced EV tall projects are using well-known open propellers as the main propulsion system. This simple and straightforward approach allows manufacturers to quickly progress in the development of an EV tall aircraft to make it marketable. This is a great strategy from a business perspective. In the future, however, these companies could be facing real market application issues related to payload, safety, noise and scalability. In this video, I will analyze the main advantages of ducted fans over unducted propellers. And I will explore a new and advanced EV tall propulsion system that offers extra thrust during hover, reduced aerodynamic drag, a 40% greater efficiency, and has the ability to assist the aircraft in the transition from hover to cruise flight. The design of EV tall aircraft for passenger transport is a new field and it is driven by five degrees of freedom. Payload, speed, range, noise and simplicity. These degrees of freedom are firmly connected and the improvement of one parameter often disadvantages one or more of the others. The choice of an EV tall design determines a trade-off between the different degrees of freedom. This ultimately dictate the cruise and hover efficiency and the noise emissions of the aircraft. A low-noise aircraft is crucial to enable market access to inner-city operations. A major advantage of ducted fans over unducted propellers is that the duct acts to significantly mitigate noise, both blade-passing noise and broadband noise. This is achieved both by the presence of the duct and by acoustic liners mounted within them. Nearly all blade tip losses and swirl losses are removed thanks to the duct and the presence of stator vanes. The design of the fan blades and stator vanes is optimized to reduce noise emission. In a similar manner to commercial jet engines, further noise reduction can be achieved by the addition of acoustic liners to the internal walls of the duct structure. Ducted fans have efficiency advantages that arise from the presence of the duct. The duct generates straight inflow on fan blades with low turbulence. Blade tip losses are reduced, and the presence of a stator row removes exit swirl. During hover, open rotors are between 85 and 90% less efficient than well-shaped ducted fans at the same disc load. Since nearly all blade tip losses and swirl losses are removed thanks to the duct and the presence of stator vanes, the two main disadvantages of ducted fans are higher power requirement. Because of the higher disc loading, the hover power consumption is higher than for open propeller aircraft. Additional aerodynamic drag and weight. The duct generates drag during cruise flight and increases overall weight. In order to minimize these two main drawbacks of traditional ducted fans, a Californian startup is developing a more powerful yet simple new kind of EV tall propulsion system that could become the new standard for urban air mobility aircraft. One way to further improve the efficiency of ducted fans is by allowing the maximum amount of air to be drawn into the duct with minimum loss. This can be achieved by adding a bell mouth inlet, which is a form of convergent inlet air duct, used to direct air into the inlet of a ducted fan or a gas turbine. The Californian startup, Hexagon Solutions, has developed a propulsion system consisting of a bell-mouth transformable ducted fan. The team began to develop and propel this next-generation ducted fan propulsion system back in 2019. After many studies with air physics applied to ducted fan surfaces and using the Bernoulli law, the team discovered the huge potential of adaptive ducted fan and built its first prototype. During takeoff, landing, or hovering, when the power consumption is greater, the bell mouth is deployed. The deployed adaptive ducted fan is a duct fan with a bell mouth convertible mechanism for the inlet duct section that gives a very substantial area increase. This configuration provides the maximum amount of air in the duct, combined with the difference of air pressure, significantly increases thrust during vertical takeoff and landing. The retracted adaptive ducted fan is a ducted fan with a sharp nacelle design. This mode is intended for cruise or straight flight due to the edged aerodynamic section of the hull. The mechanical adaptation deployed to retract it of adaptive ducted fan takes less than 3 seconds.
It is important to mention the considerable performance advantages of adaptive ducted fans over traditional fixed geometry ducted fans. To achieve similar hover efficiency, a fixed geometry ducted fan has to be 60% larger in size than an adaptive ducted fan. The volume of a fixed geometry duct is over four times larger than the retracted adaptive ducted fan. Also, there is likely a very substantial weight advantage associated with it. The cruise drag of retracted adaptive ducted fans will also be less than half that of the large fixed geometry ducted fan. A retracted adaptive ducted fan offers a 15 to 20% increase in propulsive efficiency relative to the larger fixed geometry ducted fan. This has a direct impact on range and maximum speed capability. One of the critical stages of an EVTOL flight mission is the transition from hover to cruise flight. An adaptive ducted fan can improve the flight dynamics during the transition by varying the inlet aperture of the ducted fan. The adaptive ducted fan has two working regimes. Automated segmentation and distribution of intake flaps. Helpful for hovering to cruise transition, minimizing drag and improving controllability. Uniform retracted and deployed regime. Standard mode. Depending on various weather conditions and different atmospheric pressures, these two regimes combined will maximize the flight control efficiency. The company envisions the integration of the adaptive ducted fan system into two main vehicle classes. A seven-seat hybrid-powered VTOL aircraft designed for regional air mobility and driven by four adaptive ducted fan thrusters. An EVTOL cargo unmanned aerial vehicle, designed for cargo and especially ultra-heavy loads. It intends to disrupt container operation, costs, and logistics of the port industry. The adaptive ducted fan system offers the potential for good hover and cruise efficiency for a representative EVTOL application. In hover, the deployed adaptive ducted fan matches the hover performance of a much larger fixed geometry ducted propeller. Further optimization of the adaptive ducted fan design may allow up to 10 to 15% improvement in hover performance. The reduced volume of the adaptive ducted fan will contribute to lower weight relative to the larger fixed geometry duct. The retracted adaptive ducted fan configuration contributes to lower drag and cruise flight, enhancing the potential for higher flight speeds and longer range. The adaptive ducted fan also offers the ability to adjust the duct geometry in transition between hover and cruise flight, greatly assisting the flight control. If you learned something from this video please give it a like. And if you are looking for something to watch next, you can check this recommended video.